A social media is an online platform which people use to build social networks or social relations with other people who share similar personal or career interests, activities, backgrounds, or real-life connections. The impact of social networks on young people is significant. It is becoming increasingly clear that social networks have become a part of people's life. Many adolescents, people are using their laptops, tablet computers, and smartphones to check tweets and status updates from their friends and family. Due to the advancement in technology, people are pressured to accept different lifestyles. The question is, has the social media positively or negatively impact human society? Assalamualaikum and a very good day I bid to you all. I am Omar Azibir Roslan as your moderator and thank you for joining us for our forum today. We are proud to be here today to share and gain knowledge together about social media and therefore I would like to introduce our five amazing panelists for today's forum. Number one is Dr. Moizuddin as our psychology analyst. Second is Dr. Dr. Naim as a business analyst, Mr. Nabil as a technology analyst, Professor Daniel, and last but not least, as Sunny, Mr. Sunny as Inspector Sunny. Welcome aboard to our, our panels. How are you doing? I hope you are doing great. Without wasting time, allow me to kickstart this forum with a question to Sir Mizudin. As a psychology analyst, what do you think? What uh, do you think social media is addicting? Okay, thank you, Mr. Moderator, Mr. Razik. Uh, first, I'm going to start with my understanding of social media and edited. Social media is a platform that connects people using technology, but it also gets their own pros and cons. While addition is a something that you will feel like doing it repeatedly, either it's good or bad for you. Okay. To answer your question about addition, about social media, I can give an example. Um, like a teenager could get addition with social media when they show some system which they will isolate them from real life and stay inside their bedroom without any contact with their people. And a study performed by California State University found that individuals that visit any social media site at least 58 times per week were three times more likely to feel socially isolated and depressed compared to those who use social media fewer than nine times per week. I'm trying to say that not all teenagers will start to isolate themselves immediately. It happens when teenagers scroll to social media like Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram could lead to harm them if they spend too much of their time with it. At the end, we as people should be alert with everything we do so that they can be aware to what happened to us and our surroundings. Thank you, Dr. Moizidin. So, what do you think? Uh, uh, Mr. Nabil, do you think all teenagers will start isolate themselves immediately? Okay, uh, so I think I agree with uh, Dr. Mu'e because social media can lead to uh, addiction if it's uh, used regularly and it will eventually lead to the bad thing like cyberbullying. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you to both of the panel. So, we do know that person should alert with everything we do so that we can be aware that what happens to ourselves and our surrounding and uh, when, it, when it comes to social media. Right, so we move on to the next question. We invite Dr. Naim as a business analyst. Do you think social media affects marketing? Thank you our, to our moderator, Razik. Social media can help a lot for your business. Social media has changed the dynamic of marketing and advertising because people log into their accounts daily and it can reach to many users with a click of a button. The days that you go door to door hanging out posters, newspapers and magazines are about to end as a new era is about to commence. Social media marketing is essential to most uh, business as it is required to promote their business. There is a study that states 
52% of social media marketers believe that social media marketing positively influences a business revenue and sales. First and foremost, social media is essential to use for all businesses, especially small businesses and startups, as they need to build a reputation and attract customers. Content in social media can be sent through all across the world, so you should be able to take your business to the international stage once you're ready. It is free to set up a business account in social media, so give it a try as there is no harm in it. It helps your business if you use written articles, videos, and images well, to be the most engaging kind of content. Secondly, social media allows companies to show their authenticity and what is unique about the business. It gives the explanation and chance to convince consumers why they should buy your product. And for an example, pictures of cupcakes in, in Instagram for a dessert shop. If marketed properly, the amount of shops interested in the shop the amount of customers interested in the shop will increase, thus increasing the business revenue. Thirdly, social media has decreased the cost of marketing, which costed a lot more back in the day because of sponsored info on timelines, videos uh, with CTAs, cross-channel retargeting, and shoppable posts. It has made uh, marketing cheaper and more affordable to business owners. This is why we should use social media for marketing and advertising as it is easy, fast, cheap, so if you're opening a business, make that business account. That is all. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Naim. Very excellent explanation. I really uh, like the point where it says social media boosts your visibility among potential customers because nowadays uh, we are the, 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 the generation which use technology in our lives. So what do you think? Um, Professor Daniel, what, what do you think? about this statement. Okay, yes, I have something to say about Mr. Naimi's point. I am 100% and wholeheartedly agree that social media has positively impact from the business side. Based on my research and findings, social media can help your business to attract customers, get customer feedback, and build customer loyalty. It can also increase your market reach, including international markets. We can also do market research and reduce marketing costs. Uh, and we can also recruit skilled staff, which is important. For example, through job networking sites like LinkedIn. And these are all explained beautifully by Mr. Naim just now. But all in all, the most important thing for me is you can always keep an eye on your competitors and stay one step ahead. Okay. Well done. Thank you to both of the panelists. I really appreciate your opinions. So we move on to the third question. We invite uh, Inspector Sunny as the detective to, to explain what does social media brings danger to, to us. Many thanks to the moderator. Although social media has many benefits, it still has its danger and a dark side to it. Now, I will be explaining more about the danger of social media. First of all, leak of private information. Everyone nowadays have access to social media. As we all know, social media encourage us to reveal too much about our personal information. This gives a chance to people to stalk and to prey on other people's, making it too easy and very discreet for the stalker to gather information. And God knows what they are about to do with the obtained information. Other than that uh, would be identity theft. Identity theft is a serious crime. It occurs when your personal information is stolen and used without us even knowing about it. Uh, it they might use it to commit fraud or even worse crime. Identity theft can cost you time and money. It can destroy your uh, credit and even ruin your good name. Ruins your good name. Lastly, uh, my final point would be uncensored content for children. Statistically, one in ten children aged from eight to eleven years old who goes to the internet said they had seen something inappropriate or worrisome, or worrisome online. The effects of this experience for the children will alter their personalities, 
and could affect the adulthood and it is very concerning. That is why we should take caution when using social media and do not let our lives be tied to crime. So, Thank you, Inspector Sunny. Appreciate it. Uh, the point where he it goes uh, about the uncensored content for children. So what do you think, Dr. Dr. Naim? Do I need to uh, get worried for my future children? Or well, you? Uh, well, thank you, moderator. Razi, I disagree with Detective Sunny. You cannot blame social media just because the content in social media platform is uncensored to younger users. Parents are to blame for not monitoring their children's internet activity since parents are the ones who allow their children's access to internet by giving them smart devices. This would happen a lot less if parents did their role. That's all. That is all. Thank you. Uh, yes, thank you. Thank you to Naim. Inspector Naim, eh, eh, no, uh, Dr. Naim and Inspector Sani, appreciate it. So I need to be better in parenting. <laughs> right, so, we move, so we, we move on to the next question. Uh, we invite uh, uh, Mr. Nabil to continue on does social media can lead to cyberbullying? Okay, uh, so thank you to moderator. Uh, first of all, thank you for having me in this uh, forum. So next, uh, my view on this topic is that social media can lead to cyberbullying because social media has no boundary in its use and uh, people can use anonymous accounts to express everything, whether good or bad. So among the reason is have a lack of empathy. Uh, while the technology has created uh, an uh, open space uh, and also give people to freedom to criti criticize anyone and it easy to avoid all a tense situation over the internet by simply turning it on turning it off sorry some people have uh, feel powerless at home or at work and use cyberbullying as a way to use power over others for uh, the purpose for revenge uh, of revenge and testing that uh, initial power uh, rush usually yeah, inspire only more bullying. That is why people who are unaware for the level of pain they may have been inflicting uh, to other bully. Moreover, boredom become pain when the person have too much time. It encourages them to feel bored and spend time with the internet, for example, Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp, which lead to them trolling people, uh, social media accounts. Unfortunately, many cyber bullies do their action for pure entertain, uh, entertainment and do not realize the serious consequences that behavior because they are only interested in having fun and laughing at another expense. Based on Cyberbullying Research Center uh, uh, 2021, according to their cyberbullying research, most of their cyberbullying consists of the children who are around 10 uh, to 18 years old, consists 20, 21% of cyberbullying cases. Lastly, cyberbullying may, may not harm somebody physically. Uh, instead, it may harm them mentally. Thank you. That's it. Thank you. Mr. Nabil, appreciate it about your opinion about the social media that can lead to cyberbullying. I think uh, I want, uh, one day I post something on the Instagram, then I get uh, this very weird comments. Uh, and I think that is a comment that compliment me, but I thought it is cyberbullying after listening to you. So I guess, what do you think, um, Dr. Moiz, about the social media, does it can lead to the cyberbullying? Okay, uh, I did disagree with Mr. Nabil because like he said that social media is one of the reasons for cyberbullying. There is no stopping this behavior either at school, work and also in social media. But let's think on the opposite side, the good way that 
to teach us to have a strong sense to counter bullies either in real life and in social media. Thank you, Dr. Moes, and thank you, Mr. Nabil. Appreciate it. Now, this, uh, now I have listened to both of the panel. I think I am ready to face the the technology future generation. So, last but not least, I invite uh, Professor Daniel to talk about the negatively uh, negative effect of student, which can affect the academic performance with okay. the social media in hands. Okay, Assalamualaikum and thank you to our Mr. Moderator. Now, I will talk about the negative effects of social media on students. Social media is distracting and time-consuming. Students spend hours on social media, ignoring their studies altogether. The rapid growth in the usage of social media among students has been associated with their declining academic performance. Even though social media has numerous advantages, however, it has extremely negative impact on, ex on students' academic performance. For an example, spending long hours in social media platforms, either through the small screen of a smartphone or the larger one of a laptop, strains the eyes, reduces mental focus as well as concentration, causes backbone problems which can lead to severe health issues and ultimately affects academic performance. Secondly, going to bed right after spending time on a social media site will affect sleep. It can lead to insomnia which can in turn cause physical stress, depression and also unhappy state of mind. These are all problems that prevent students from putting the effort they needed to score well in exams. Lastly, at times, student groups in social media can pass on incorrect information on what to study for a particular test or exam. This can negatively affect scores and bring in poor grades for not just one, but many students at the same time. And that is why social media has negatively impacted our human society. Thank you, Professor Daniel. I really like that point where it affects our eyes after a day with the technology, with the screen. So I invite uh, Inspector Sani. What do you think? Uh, do you have anything to be uh, to be added? Yes, I think that uh, Mr. Imran is correct. Social media does neglect students. Like if we were to make an experience uh, to put a student to make sure he studies, but beside him, uh, we put a computer or maybe a social media, uh, automatically they will be distracted and the work will not be done so it is but, but i'm not saying uh, all students are like that most of them are but uh, other than that uh, health needs to be prioritized because as the uh, mr imran just now uh, lectured he told that there are many side effects of social media uh, and yes health needs to be taken care that's it thank you inspector sani for your opinion so i guess every every idea and viewpoint has been discussed about our main topic today so with the advent of communication and the emergence of virtual social phenomena human lives have undergone many challenges undoubtedly social networks are a part of a modern human life. Every day, different people uh, across different networks share their life moments, insights, and interests. Social networks have been able to bring people closer together than ever before in the history of humanity and to broaden the connection between them. So, um, however, every technology and phenomenon has its own negative effects. These communication platforms also have several disadvantages. So now, Thank you for sharing the information and your opinion with us today. Thank you once again and hopefully we meet again in another time.